the sacrifice and the investment of that sacrifice in the hereafter. If you leave something for the sake of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you something better. Rest assured. So we have to understand. When the Sahaba radiallahu anhum ajma'een came to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even the best of them, Khabbab ibn al-Arat radiallahu anhu ardahu anhu sahaba di ajma'een, he was known to be the most persecuted among the Sahaba. We're talking about holes in the back, not just burns or wounds. He would come back to Rasulullah and says, Make dua for us. Ala tastansir lana. Ask for victory for us. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to get upset, mad and angry with him. Why? Because that's the best of creation after prophets and messengers. This is the generation. Khairun nas. Qarni. The best of human beings are my generation. Allah has chosen them to be the apostles of Rasulullah, the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So you come in to complain. Says, Wallahi laqad kana fi umam in qabilikum. Nations before you, what did they do? They will be sawed in half. And that will not deter them from the true path. They would be combed by a steel comb. They will take the skin of the flesh. And that will not take them away. But you are mere people in rush, in haste. You want result right now. You see things on your screen. You see your brothers and sisters dying. And you feel helpless and hopeless. You feel like a nail in a tire that is going around. But you cannot do anything. So we say, Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. So we say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our guardian. So we have to understand what this tathi is all about. And then you ask yourself, after you hear the stories, what have you sacrificed for the sake of Allah? What have you left for the sake of Allah? Do your whims and desires come before Allah subhanahu wa jalla and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam?